Hey guys, hello and welcome to another Divi Mega Menu video tutorial. My name is Roby and I'll be walking you through how to style your very own Mega Menu. If you'd like more help, please check out our documentation site for more details. You can check that out at help.divienginecom or you can contact our amazing support team for more complex issues. Alright, let's get going. One of the reasons why Divi Engine has focused on working with the Divi theme is because of the endless styling possibilities using the Divi Builder. To style your new Mega Menu, it is important to spend time learning how to style using the Divi Builder. Please visit Divi's tutorials to learn more on this, and you can also check the URL that's shown on the screen right now. Now, if you didn't tell by our name, we love the Divi theme so much that we've actually added the ability to style your Mega Menu right from the Divi Builder. Now to start checking out some of these styling possibilities, we head over to our Mega Menu page under the Divi Engine settings. Okay, now from here we'll open up one of the menus that were either imported or one that we created earlier. I've got a few in here already, so I'm going to click on Menu 1. With Menu 1 open, you can see that familiar layout of the Divi Builder. You've got the modules, you've got the rows, you've got the sections. When you scroll a little bit further, you'll see the Mega Menu Style settings. Now, the first item there is the menu position. It's set to default menu. Now, what that means is that this mega menu is going to show within a menu, a navigational menu on your site. So remember in one of the earlier videos where we created that menu and added that unique identifier, this is where this will display. Now, there's a lot of settings here, but the ones you use will depend on the type of menu position you use. The other menu position is tooltip. Now this is when it's going to be displaying above a button or maybe on the side of a blurb. It really depends on how you want to use the plugin. We're going to stick with default menu here. Now there's also a bunch of other interesting settings here, like being able to close on scroll. You can set the menu animations. You can make it full width. You can control that width. You can adjust the position and you can also disable it on mobile. Now, if you recall, there was a setting in the Mega Menu settings, we can also disable the Mega Menus on mobile. Here's one where you can target a specific menu to be disabled. Now, going a little bit further down, we've got the Mega Menu Triangle Style. Now, this is one that we'll set if we want a little triangle to just differentiate the menu item from the Mega Menu. You can set things like the color, the position, and then also just put the specific location as far as whether it's on a menu link or on a mega menu. Now coming down to the mega menu close icon style, when we have that setting enabled where you have to click to open and close the mega menu, this is where you can style the close icon, the position, the style, the color, and the actual icon that is used. So you can use a house, a dollar sign, but probably makes more sense to use an X. All these different style settings just shows you how we extended that functionality of the Divi theme to give you the ability to style these mega menus any way you like. And don't be worried, we know there's a lot here, so be sure to check out the documentation at help.diviengine.com to see all the features and exactly what they do to help you build the best mega menus possible. And with that, we get to the end of this mega menu video. That is kind of hard to say. I don't know why. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you. If there's anything that comes up, please contact our support team and somebody will help you out as soon as they can. But in the meantime, keep it real and I'll see you guys in the next video.